Hi, gentlemen. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Very well, thank you. So, James, what are you up to in the off season? Uh, you know, just working out, working hard, and and uh, you know, trying to get ready for next season. Now, do you stay in shape year round? Absolutely. I mean, I, I, uh, I've, I, I find, you know, I, I like to call myself a workout warrior, you know, and just, uh, you know, just try to go hard at all times. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, in this profession, you kind of have to be at your peak performance at all times. Um, and so I, yeah, I go, you know, as soon as the season ended in, in February, I started up the, the following week. I took a week off and, um, you know, and just uh, kind of just a constant struggle, constant grind, and, and that's the way I like it to be. And you went to Brown. That's a pretty rare company for an NFL football player. You must feel pretty good about that. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's definitely a, I have a lot of pride about where I went to school, and we got a Harvard guy right here, and Dr. Uh, Dr. Bean, um, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, I love love my four years at Brown, and and it's a huge point of pride that you know I'm where I am today, and and Brown has a lot to do with you know where I am. And what was your major, and why? Uh, I was a mechanical engineer. Um, first off, wanted to start and do uh, architecture, but they didn't have a direct architecture path, so I decided to go into mechanical engineering, and uh, and that's kind of what, you know, I was always a math and science, you know, kind of um, guy, so um, it, it seemed to fit pretty well for me. And you went from college to arena, to United Football League, to NFL, the non even as a non-drafted free agent, was your ambition always to be a pro football player? Uh, yeah, it was. You know, I, I, I kind of I made that a, a goal of mine, and you know, I wanted to see any type of avenue that I had to take. I wanted to go go down it and, and see where it, where it took me. And you know, uh, my my journey was was a long one, and you know, I had to you know kick down a lot of doors. But you know, it's. Uh, it's something that I look back on with, you know, a lot of a lot of pride, like I said, and and uh, you know, it's it's a it's a cool story, and I'm just blessed to be here. Now that you achieved your goals, do you enjoy it? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's it's uh, it's truly an honor to go to work, you know, every day, and and uh, I love it, and you know, it was like I said, it was my dream. So any any time that I get to, you know, go to work, put the put that jersey on, and um, it's just, uh, it's almost surreal. Now you played defensive end in college, but now you're a fullback. Which position do you prefer? Uh, you know, well, I, I've always loved the defensive side of the ball. Um, but, you know, this, uh, the fullback position is pretty fun. I mean, you get to go in there and just kind of, um, you know, stick your, your face in other people and, and try to, try to just beat them down. And, um, you know, it's, it's really fun, so. Aren't you a little big to be a fullback? I, uh, you know, I, I, I make it happen. You know, I mean, I, I might be a little bit taller than the normal fullback, but you know, I try to use my leverage when I can. Now, what's your role on the team? Uh, it's really just kind of whatever they want me to do. You know, I got to be ready to go. Um, you know, at any, at any moment in any, you know, capacity that they ask me to, to work in, and um, you know, so I'm kind of. Like a little bit of a Swiss Army knife, you know. If they need me to lead block, I'll do that. If they need to, uh, if they need me to split, split out and run a route, I'll do that. If they need to catch the ball out of the backfield, I'll do that. So you know, it's uh, just kind of being ready to go whenever I can. And you know, uh, hot shot definitely helps me do that. Um, it uh, kind of keeps me primed and ready to go whenever you know there's a lull in the game and I get a you know quarter in and I haven't played much or something like that. It it kind of keeps me fresh and. Um, you know, Hotshot was introduced to me by my by our team nutritionist a few years back. Um, you know, as a as a way to alleviate the muscle cramping issue that might happen, and and uh, you know, it's so, something that's really helped me and helped me in my recovery process as well after workouts. And um, you know, it's something I truly believe in. Oh, good. Well, I'll ask the doctor about that in just sure. a second. Two more questions about football, for you don't mind. Sure. Uh, in the NFL, you played for the Bengals and the Patriots. How do the culture of these two organizations differ? Uh, you know, they uh, they're they're both great storied organizations, and you know, like I said before, it's, it's just it's I'm an incredibly lucky person to just to go to work, whether it was in Cincinnati or now in New England, and and uh, you know, it's a it's a honor to show up every day and and just put the work in. You know, 
a lot of a lot of hardworking guys in the locker room, hardworking coaches, and um, you know it's just uh, it, it's a it's a great. Both organizations were great. I had a lot of good friends in, in both organizations, and I look back on them. Um, my time in, in Cincinnati, um, and you know I still talk to a lot of guys from that team, and you know I obviously love being in New England now, and it's it's uh, it's great. What do you like to do for fun when you're not working? Well, I have two uh, two little boys at home. Um, you know, they're 16 months and three months, so it's a lot of work right now. But uh, you know, my I got to tip my hat to my wife. She's she's an absolute soldier. She she just uh, she just takes care of those guys like like none other, and and it's uh, it's awesome. It's a lot of a lot of early mornings and late nights, but I'd have it no other way. <laughs> Doctor, can you please tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm a neurophysiologist at Harvard Medical School, and the development of Hotshot really didn't come directly from the work in my lab, but one day I was ocean kayaking with my friend Rod McKinnon, who's also a, a, a researcher, and we both got severe muscle cramps in our arms. We were out in the open ocean near Cape Cod, and it was uh, dangerous, you know, having cramping both at the same time out on the open ocean. Got us very interested in muscle cramping, where it comes from, and especially how to treat it. And so Rod is a Nobel Prize winning chemist. I'm a neurophysiologist. And it was really, though, experiments on ourselves that led us to Hotshot as a way of uh, preventing and treating muscle cramping. We developed it first just for ourselves. Uh, then we, you know, as we developed and made it more widely available, it's been, you know, really amazing to see how quickly it's been taken up by elite athletes, you know, pro athletes like James and other people. Uh, so it's it's been uh, you know it's been it's been a great uh, experience. What's in it? It's uh, it's all it's made from plant extracts. It's uh, all organic. It's all natural. It's uh, NSF certified, so it mm -hmm. can be used by pro athletes. Um, it's. What it, what it does is it strongly stimulates the, uh, the nerves in your mouth, in your esophagus, in your stomach. And the way it works is to rebalance the circuitry in your spinal cord because, as it turns out, muscle cramping doesn't come from the muscles. It comes from the overactivity of particular neurons in the, in the spinal cord. And what we found is that by stimulating the nerves in the mouth and the esophagus and the stomach, which we can do with Hotshot, it rebalances that circuitry and disrupts the cramping. Uh, who should use it? Well, the interesting thing was originally we were targeting this to elite athletes, uh, triathletes in, in particular, who, you know, for whom muscle cramping can completely uh, eliminate their performance. But we found that it's being used by a much wider range of people, uh, weekend warriors, recreational athletes, people doing yoga, and we've also been finding that a lot of people tell us they take it even if they don't have muscle cramping because they find that it improves their recovery after their workout. Um, they take it before the workout. Uh, people who do running and uh, cross-country skiing and uh, long-distance bike racing where they monitor their times very carefully are telling us that they actually have better times uh, when they're taking it. Uh, so it's really a wide range of people. It's not just the lead athletes, uh, and that's been also something that really we learn from the people using it. Where can we get it? You can get it at teamhotshot.com. You can learn more about the science, and you can also buy it at Amazon. How is Hotshot different than other products on the market? It's really unique. It's, very, it's completely different than, for example, a sports drink you know, with electrolytes in it and so forth. Uh, it works by a completely different mechanism. It's uh, a small volume. It's 1.7 ounces. It is a shot. You know, it's a sports shot. That's the reason we call that. And there's really nothing like it. James, final question for you. What are your predictions for next year's football season? Well, we got a lot of work ahead of us, you know, and, and we're just going to go out there and be a very hardworking team. And, and uh, you know, we're doing that, you know, uh, in the upcoming training camp here in a, in a few weeks. You know, we got to start from ground zero and, and uh, you know, build a cohesive unit and, and uh, go out there and compete. How do you like fans to connect with you? Uh, you know, I, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. Um, you know, so uh, fans can get in touch with me there. And, um, you know, I appreciate all the support I can get. Thank you guys very much. I hope you have a great day. All right. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, Michelle.